Hello guys and now in this particular video we will see how we can install the docker desktop on our this Ubuntu machine. So it's also very simple step. Uh, we will basically follow the official documentation which we have from the docker. So you have to just search install docker desktop on Ubuntu here we have. And then you will you have to click on this first link and then you will come upon on this page and here you will see the information like install docker desktop on Ubuntu and you will you will need to download this DB package dev package okay and the prerequisite as this you can see like 64 bit version should uh, have like you should have this one and uh, also uh, terminals you should have genome terminal and everything you should have okay so let's do how we can do it and if you have already installed the uh, docker desktop in our pc or in our this ubuntu machine then you will need to first remove that one and then you can go forward so let's do uh, do uh, i will open up one terminal here uh, why not it's yeah okay so first thing which we have to do is the install this dev package I mean download so it's a 463 MB uh, it will take uh, two minutes of time till then I just pause the video okay guys so here you can see we have downloaded this dot uh, dev package so now what we have to do uh, you will need to first update so sudo uh, uh, sudo apt get update okay you will need to enter your password that's it and it will also take some time but now it's done okay now what you have to do you have to uh, change your directory to the downloads how you can do it just cd and the name of the directory that is downloads okay i have already done it so now what we will be doing uh, we you uh, you will use this command sudo apt get install uh, in sta double install dots and then we will use the name what is the name docker desktop so do just hit tab okay why well, it's not showing let me just check ls okay So here we have to write AMD64 and then here the version name we have 4.18.0 4.18.0 hit enter and it's working. So here you will see at the end of the installation I put display and to installing or download a package you ignore the error message okay. Just hit enter why? And to run the Docker Desktop, you can use this command systemctl. Okay, I just wait for the installation until then, I just pause the video. Okay, so we have uh, installed the Docker Desktop successfully. To run the Docker Desktop, what is the command? So we have this one. Uh, where it is? Uh, this one. Uh, not this one. Yeah. This command we have. Just uh, paste it and hit enter. It will start the Docker Desktop. And here you can see all those things. You have to accept. Okay and it will start and here you can see quick weekly tips it will give you some weekly tips uh, 
and this is the setup which you want to do uh, you can do it as a student and local development and that's it or you can just skip this part and it's showing now docker engine stopped okay uh, let me now close it and let's again uh, here you can see to stop the docker you can use this command hyphen you just stop okay and also you can run it from here from all the applications you have just search for docker desktop and hit on this and then it will start okay it's uh, stopping again and again let me check okay guys so here is a solution for uh, why docker is being stopped so here you can see uh, for using in ubuntu we need to actually uh, enable these things you can read this one kvm support and all so actually i'm also running on the vm that's why it's happening uh, and then you can just uh, check uh, the another solution let's check if any other solution we have okay okay uh, this one i had the same problem with this with windows 11 as main host and docker desktop okay you need to enable nested virtualization support which is available on windows on version greater than 6.0 also it's important to mention you need to have disable the hyper v virtual machine and the windows hyper virtual okay okay so in order to enable nested vt this in windows you need to step by step guide so you can follow these steps okay from the this stack overflow guide and then you are good to go so that's all for today's guys and i'll meet you in the next video thank you for watching